What's up guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Shoot. Dot com. And we got Martin Scorsese in Silence. He's not in it, but yes. Martin, Martin Scorsese's, Scorsese's this 30 year in the making movie. He Martin Scorsese's been trying to make this movie. Couldn't get anyone to make it. Now he's working with uh, foreign distributors, foreign, uh, you know, foreign production studios to finally bring this movie that he's been dying uh, to finally bring to the screen. He read this book, I want to say, kind of right after, um, I want to say like Raging Bull, so like in the 80s. And uh, he has been wanting to make this movie ever since. Obviously, I think if you know what the movie is about, you know why. I mean, this movie is about religious prosecution in Japan. Um, you know, it's about like this really, really kind of heavy handed movie. Like for instance, in my screening, we had a bunch of people who came on out to see Silence and they had no idea what they were going to see. They just saw Adam Driver, they saw Andrew Garfield, they saw Lee Decent, and they were like, what are we watching? And they kind of hightailed it out. But um, I'm just gonna hop right into my review uh, because we have plenty of other stuff to talk about. You can click that wide, I see all the other reviews. Uh, silence, like I said, don't go see Silence unless you are ready for a three hour, really heavy handed movie that has a lot of, um, you know, long still shots of, things that are around us, about, uh, but I mean, it is a very powerful movie. I think filmmaking wise, I think for me it was more a technical achievement than it was a story achievement. Yes, there is some really, really heavy emotional things happening, but you know, Louis Carzolo, Louis Vuitton, my co-writer uh, called it profound. Like he thought this movie was like Martin Scorsese's best work mm. in recent time. And, and I couldn't agree with him like with that. And so if you're expecting Wolf of Wall Street, Silence is a completely different monster. Are there boobs? Um, no boobs. Then it's not Wolf. No, no Wolf. No comedy. You know, I mean, it is literally just a lot of heavy handing. There's a lot of death. There's a lot of, not a lot of blood, but there's blood. You know, there's just a lot of there will very, be very, very, very sad stuff happening. And while I do think, like I said, the cinematography is beautiful, the sound design is really good, you know. The first, actually, I think, minute of this movie is just a black screen and the sound of uh, different insects making noises, you know, it's a lot of that type of stuff. And while I do think it was a beautiful movie and I think it is a really uh, great achievement for him as a filmmaker, it's not a movie that really struck me in a very heavy-handed, well, um, an emotional way, right? Like I didn't have a super reaction, like yes, what these characters went through was awful and, and, tr and tragic, but um, not one of my favorites of the year. And it's kind of a bummer because like, you know, 30 years in the making, I wanted to see a lot of that and it just kind of didn't hit that mark. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Definitely a good movie, just not a great movie. And I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me on that, but you know, I also think it's interesting because this movie is about Christianity being practiced in Japan when, you know, all the, you know, Japanese obviously wanted Christianity completely out. You know, I think it'll be interesting to see people of different religious backgrounds and how they take this movie. That's a fair review. Yeah. You know. And then seven days later, we'll be in week three of January of 2017. Yeah, we can get back to being silly. Triple X, the return of Xander Cage. We have the founder, McDonald's. McDonald's, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. We have 20th Century Woman. Annette Greta Benning. Gerwig, Annette Benning. Um, we also have uh, Split from M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan Ding Dong. Yeah, that's what you say. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. I forgot for a second how you say it. He's yes, we have all that next week. We also have reviews for Patriot's Day, Sleepless, um, The Bye Bye Man, and L. So make sure to go check out all of those videos. Ding, 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 and next ding, week, ding, 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 ding. because this is the last really installment of 2016 films, next week me and Shu are going to do our top 10 of the year. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's exciting. I'm pumped. Make sure to go read my full review of the Bye Bye Man at ChaseXinema.com as well as all of our other reviews. And uh, we'll see you in seven days. We'll have to do a, a uh, four hour review for Kent for the top 10 of 2016. Oh, I love it. We should actually do a commentary for silence. Love it. You ready? Let's do it. Enjoy your week. I'll see you soon. ChaseXinema.com. Known as Film Lovers website.